Hi, and welcome to Link Asia. I'm Tui Vu. A troubling revelation, the Japanese government believes the stricken nuclear reactors at Fukushima are leaking 300 tons of radioactive water into the ocean every day. To give you some idea, that's way more than an average American family consumes every year. The government says the leak's been going on for most of the two and a half years since an earthquake and a tsunami smashed the reactors. The owner of the nuclear power plant, Tokyo Electric and Power Company, or TEPCO, says the 300 tons is only a guess. Guess or not, it adds to growing doubts about TEPCO's efforts to clean up. The Japanese government has become impatient. The original estimate for the cost of the cleanup was $11 billion and was supposed to take up to 40 years. After the disaster, TEPCO set up a panel of experts to review what went wrong and make recommendations to help the utility restart operations at Fukushima Daiichi. Dale Klein, a former chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, heads the committee. Welcome to Link Asia. Well, thank you very much. Okay, the leak of uh, contaminated water into the sea is the latest in a series of problems TEPCO's had since the disaster in March 2011. So what do you think? Are they covering up? You know, I don't believe they're covering up at all. I think they really have a very difficult time with their communication program, and I have described it as being incompetent. Uh, they really don't do well on uh, letting people know exactly where they stand at any given time. They want to know all the answers before they talk to the press or to the public, and they really need to change that. So no cover-up. Uh, is it a PR mistake then? I think it's definitely a mistake, and we've encouraged them to form a risk communication office. They have established one, but in this case it failed. Uh, it sounds as if leakage of radiation into the sea is a fundamental problem. What are TEPCO's options at this point? Well, this current leak that they're uh, dealing with has to do with uh, water that's uh, located in a trench. It's basically for cable trays and for uh, pipes. Uh, after the accident, it had considerable amount of radioactive water. Uh, they knew that it had uh, contaminated water. They thought that they had the leak stopped uh, several months ago, and it turns out that their fix did not work. So now they're having to go through and uh, put an additional barrier to prevent the water from leaking out of this tunnel into the uh, ocean. With all this trouble around the cleanup, what's the future of nuclear power in Japan? That's a good question. Uh, in my view, uh, Japan needs safe, reliable nuclear energy. Uh, they have to import so much of their fossil fuels that if they forego the nuclear option, it will dramatically change their entire economy, particularly their manufacturing uh, enterprise. So there's no reason that they cannot have safe, reliable nuclear energy, just like they have a very well-known manufacturing capability. They just need to change their safety culture, have conservative decision-making processes, and make sure that they instill public confidence so that the people of Japan will believe and trust what the industry says about nuclear energy. So how is the industry doing in terms of public education since polls show most Japanese are against nuclear power? At the moment, I don't think they're doing very well. I think uh, they need to continually be proactive. They need to be more open, more transparent. And I think the responsibility for educating the public in Japan is not just a responsibility of TEPCO. It's of the entire nuclear industry, the government and universities. It's very easy to let people say they don't want nuclear energy, but they really need to understand what their options are if they forego that option. And that will mean uh, less reliable electricity, more contribution to global climate change and other factors. So if you ask anyone if they want nuclear energy, they usually say no. But if you ask them if they want electricity, the answer is yes. They just need to understand what their options are. Okay, so still some tough challenges ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dale Klein is chairman of TEPCO's Nuclear Reform Monitoring Committee. You can learn more about him on our experts page. In other Asian countries, nuclear power is in trouble too. In South Korea, there are revelations that inspectors faked results of safety tests of reactor equipment. Three reactors have been closed and authorities are poring over records to see if a dozen others were also given phony safety certificates. China's ambitious nuclear power program is also struggling. Protests have forced the halt of construction in Guangdong of a nuclear plant for enriching uranium to fuel reactors. And in India, protesters held up construction of a reactor in the state of Tamil Nadu for more than a year because of safety concerns.
U.S. airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.